Hello, everybody, I'm Jared here, and we're going to be doing something very weird today. You probably don't know what's inside this box, but... Excuse me, I'm going to get these things out of the way. Yeah, that's my snack. And I just dropped it on the floor. Now it's probably broken. Uh, this is something I've been wanting for quite a while now. Um, now, I record these every month. At school, they're loud, and they're red, and what we're going to do is we're going to take my key here, and we're going to see if we can open this thing up. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to open it, considering I'm still trying to hear my thumb. I'm not sure why that's in the question, but let's see if we can open this thing up. So, I ordered this thing back on Friday. And ever since then, I've been waiting so patiently for one. Um, sadly, this is my last month to record one of these things going off at school. But I heard the Bo Tech School may have them, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just using the key for my garage. Oh, man, this thing is really taped down. Um, give me just a minute. I have my sweatshirt on and it is hot in the heck in here. Hot in the heck? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Alright. Are you ready to see this thing? Because I'm ready to see it too. This is my Simplex 4903 9219. It has an electrical, ma uh, a mechanical horn, um, these are the ones that they use in school. Um, now, the difference between the 19 and the 17, and the 15, that the 19 has a visual candela module, which means that I need to clean this thing off. Uh, so, this thing has the power to change candela level. Now, I'm not sure how to do that. Um, at the moment, um, okay, this is a problem here. This is a four-wired alarm, but there's a screw missing. So I'm not 100% sure how this is going to sound. So here's the actual fire alarm itself. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this thing working anytime soon, because, uh, this is a 24 volt DC horn, um, and with the screw missing there, I need to find a replacement screw, um, which I know there's a, a, a ton of them in my power tech class, I need to know how to, uh, yeah. But basically, um... What's neat about this particular horn is that I could actually take the horn out and put a speaker in this thing, thus turning this thing into a speaker strobe. So, this is a really neat thing to add. I've been really excited to get one of these things. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. But the thing is though, let's hope, and when I say hope, I mean hope it works. Um, like I said, I need to get, need to get this thing wired up. Um, now, one thing though is that, um, okay, this is the wire I put, yeah, this is the wire to the strobe. And this is the wire, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the wire back here, right here. Yeah, both of these wires are going to the strobe. This is the, um... 
this is the actual mechanical horn itself. Now, there's no electronics in this thing. This is all mechanical. So, yeah. I finally got myself my first fire alarm. <laughs> Um, I do plan on getting more of these sometime in the near future. Actually, let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope, nothing else. Just the actual fire alarm itself. Um, wait, hold on, there's more. And here's the actual instruction manual. So this is a 4903, uh, horn visual strobe. Not installing limitation. Let's see here. Wow, it even comes with the um with the actual um instruction here. Yeah, I need to um see if I can get another um screw for this first of all because there is supposed to be four screws and there's only three. And I need four in order to make this thing work. So hopefully, um, once I go into power tech class tomorrow, maybe I might get a, um, another screw that might fit this horn. Because I really, really love to, um, I really love to, um, get this thing working. So yeah, that is my unboxing review of a Simplex 4903 9219. And, uh... Hopefully I have videos of this thing going off in the near future, but if not, it definitely will be added to my fire collection, no doubt about that. But, thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video, hopefully I can start doing system test videos with this thing soon, if I even start a system test series. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video, thank you all very much, and I'll see you later, Bye bye